Hello everyone and welcome back to Outer Wilds. In the last session we explored a city at the base of Brittle Hollow at the South Pole. Well it's like it starts at the South Pole but it's really like inside the planet. Uh, but unfortunately we ran into a little thing called Ghost Matter which uh, completely ruined our day. Let's see what updates we've got. The Hanging City to the Black Hole Forge and the Vessel an anglerfish fossil. Okay, so yeah, we found this black hole forge which we sort of activated or something, but we didn't have a chance to actually do anything with it. And in my city, suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. Oh, it's the northern glacier. Oh, I was at the wrong glacier then, because the original reason for going there was to go to the southern one. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the black hole forge. The Namai debated about how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. Okay. The Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City. I found a switch in the Meltwater District. Yep. It's the highest district. A Namai named Pope planned to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. The Namai learned how to evade anglerfish theoretically by studying an anglerfish fossil, fossil they found on Ember Twin, so we could probably do the same. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Oh, that's where their ship crashed, was in Dark Bramble. Okay, and then, like, they got out with their lives, kind of thing? Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm so into this game. Right. Let's have a look-see. Where is... There it is. There it is. Uh, I don't recognize that dome, so that's probably not the side I was on, right? So I was on this side. Yeah, I was. Also, the, it said there's more to explore with that crashed pod, didn't it? That'll do. Hang on, let's go back to the crashed pod. Oh man, there's the interloper. That looks cool. We've got to land on that at some point. It definitely said there was more in the in the ship's like log thing. It said there was more to explore here. It's probably the fact that we can go down, right? That's probably what is more to explore. Okay, don't make the same mistake as last time of not jumping there. Good, good. Okay, well, we haven't been past this point. Flashlight on. Oh, this is just the actual proper entrance to this city, I guess. Plume. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. This temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Ship log updated. Lovely. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. There's the Black Hole Forge. Is that the Black Hole Forge? I think it is. That looks similar. And we're like, we're looking at things differently because we've come in from a different point. Hello. That's the symbol for the eye, right? I'm pretty sure that's the symbol for the eye. Thatch. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered whilst aboard the vessel. Oh, interesting. That's why they're so intrigued by it. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Namai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can something is exploding? How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. Now what was that big old explosion that just occurred? Unsure. I came from over that way. Let's go this way. We've got time. We've got time to explore everything. We made record time here, I think. Very pacey. Very pacey indeed. 
Hope my ship doesn't fall into the black hole again. Hello, there's writing down there. Before we jump down, oh, uh, well, okay, no, let's jump down. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing whom we may have lost? Or will the hardest part, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Mallory. Mallory? What was it? Mallory, yeah. Okay. Descending further. I'm going to be missing some rooms because it's kind of hard to keep track of which places you've checked and which ones you haven't. Tree. Love it. Love a good tree. Thank you very much. Oh man, whole sections of this thing are just gradually falling. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Oh! Okay, so... They used their vessel to follow the signal they heard, but it wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but our destination, because they ended up in Dark Bramble, and we know Dark Bramble appeared and destroyed the planet that was previously there. So the signal originally came from that planet. That's why that's why things went wrong for them. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, an owner and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Interesting they refer to it as well, and not like working. Ship log updated. That's their vessel, I guess. That's the signal they received. This is, this is a story. This is the story of what happened. Their vessel, they heard a signal, they got trapped by the dark bramble. And then... The, I guess these are the people fled the ship, went to the twins, went to Brittle Hollow, and went somewhere else. Maybe trapped inside dark bramble? Cool. Man, this way of storytelling is really good. It's not directly fed to you in, like, the fact that you can... This is all, like, missable, as far as I can tell. Like, you probably have to find certain bits of it to know where to go in other bits. But, like, you're discovering it all yourself. It's not just being shown to you in a cutscene or something. I really like it. Kusa. We can hear the other escape pod's distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley. Are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. Aww. Sad, man. Right. Up here. Okay. Stuff is occurring. Okay, I can't remember which way we came from. At all. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. It is gone from my mind. Right, that's where we were. Okay, so we haven't been this way. Just a whole load of exploration in this in this attempt of this village. Or, I don't know if village is the right word for it. You know what I mean. Finding out as much as we can before we die. Ah, this is so worrying. Everything just cracking and crumbling around us. Plume, my brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in Pod 2 or Pod 3? Was he able to board an Escape Pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not, allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Oh, that's what the picture was. It wasn't the people, it was the Escape Pods. So two of the Escape Pods got out of the Dark Bramble, but one got trapped inside. That's what that was showing. Okay, okay. Is there anywhere I can jump to from here? I can kind of jump to there. But it's probably better safer if I just go a normal route. Although, hang on. Wasn't there a path here before? That'll do. That will do. Although I'm now completely turned around. I'm not sure. Okay, no, this is that room. This is that room. So that's where I came from. So this is new, I think. God, there's so much to explore. 
This kind of looks like a path. Oh no, this is the way this is the way you came in originally. Okay, so in that case, let's go left here. Okay. Yeah, because we were drawn to that picture the first time. Given concerns about our settlement's stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix, Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the ice signal called to us and we followed. If we're, if we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Oh. 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 Oh, what? What? What's happened? I've been fucked, is what's happened. I have been roundly fucked. God damn it. Okay. Those were the... Maybe I got too far away from a gravity crystal? You have to stay near the gravity crystals to stay on the walls. I guess I just cocked up. Oh no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, reverse. Reverse. Oh my god, it is hard to steer in space. <laughs> what is this? Oh boy. Fuel concerns. Okay, but then where? <laughs> where was it? Was it this thing? I can't remember what where exactly the thing was that lets me teleport back. Uh. It was just a... Wasn't there just a station around here or something? But let me go back, but I've completely, I can't see it. <laughs> Am I being blind? I thought it was that, but now I'm not so sure. Well, it could be that. That's got a door in it, right? Oh, there's a bunch of doors in it, actually. Oh, these are, these are, yeah, these are parts of the place we were just in that have crumbled and fallen through. That's what these are. <laughs> Fuel level critical. I am done. I cannot see. <laughs> Is that it? Could that be it? Got to use the last of our fuel to head over that way. If this ain't it, <laughs> I think I'm screwed. But no, I think this is it. No, but I'm going past it. No, 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 no. Got to be careful. Huh. Tiny adjustments. Come on, tiny adjustments. There we go. There we go. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, so we're a way away. Yeah, okay, we've read that. So we need to turn it a bunch right. And to do that, we need to do this.
Boom. Fire. Cool as hell, man. However, we are still out of fuel. Oh my! God damn it. I didn't realize you could go back in. Oh no. Oh right, it just keeps turning. Oh I see. Oh, okay. That You weren't supposed to wait for it to naturally happen. I can take this with me. You're just supposed to have it spinning and then it will fire you when it gets there. Which in this case is in about five, four, three, two, one. Right, so don't get back on this panel. <laughs> Received loud and clear. Now, where is my ship? Uh, 420 meters that way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there, am I? What that does mean, though, is I can use this whilst I'm here. Read what it says before I die. Hi. Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke. You or you sent. Yeah, you sent, comma, Poke, comma, and they appear to show Namaya arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Oh. That's what that's what the arrival and departure disc was for. So time reverses a little bit when you jump when you use the jumpy thing. Pi. As I've already told Raimi, those measurements can't be accurate. How can Onomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Raimi. Poke. As Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping it hit me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Okay. Poke, I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our own instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Okay, so it's not like you can teleport and then call yourself up and have a chat before you teleport because it is like pretty near instant. Hi. What is going on here? We're on the, this is the, yeah, this is the Ember Twin projection. This is a projection of what we would see if we were stood on Ember Twin here. What is this thing? This is very odd. Very cool, but very odd. Like, I have no idea what... I don't know what the use of this is, to be quite honest. Like, it's cool that it happens and you can see this other place in the universe. But I don't quite know the point of it. And what the hell is this thing? Unsure, but that's uh, that's a lot of stuff we've learned, so that's good. That is very good. I don't see myself being able to make it back there. I guess we can test my theory. Wait, no, it's over here that we can test my theory, isn't it? Uh, hang on. Wasn't it just in here? Huh. Yeah, okay, so last time I turned this down, but it's still going up. So there's that theory. Debunked. I can't just change it once and then use it as a shortcut. <laughs> I'd have to change it every time because everything resets, which makes sense. It would be outside the rules. Oh, lovely. It would be outside the rules that the game's created if that was not the case. So that's fine. Um, I'm not sure we have time to do anything except for go back down, really. I've got fuel now, so I can afford to be a bit riskier. 
And there's tree. We know there's trees down there. Come on, where's the friggin' holes? There's a way. Where's the way down? <laughs> we know it's around here. I don't know how I'm not seeing it. We've literally gone down from here a bunch of times, haven't we? Haven't we? Or have we gone down from over here? I can't remember how you get down. God damn it. Oh no, it's from the beacon, isn't it? It's from the beacon that I go down. Shit. Well, I don't know where the beacon is. Ow. I guess this will have to do. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's gonna kill me. Fuck. You don't have enough fuel to slow your descent like that. Gosh darn. Okay, well, there's our first run of this session. Let's see what updates are on the ship's log. I feel like there's still a bunch more there to explore. But I don't want to go back again. I feel like I'm, I've spent a lot of time there. I've learned so much, though. Hmm. have learned a lot from going there, and I'm sure there must still be more things to see. We need to find how to reach that black hole forge, because we've seen it a bunch, we just haven't like, got to it. Oh, hello, lag. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the other pole, the pole we were intending to go to from the beginning. The south pole, where they created a better uh, thingy to track the eye. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, so that's the new thing we've discovered. Was that, you know, time travel. Um, negative time interval measured at the Whitehall Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon on Ember Twins Crater. Right, yes. Northern Glacier where they first recorded warp technology. Okay, nothing new to see there. Does that have anything new? There's more to explore in the Hanging City. Yup. <laughs> Don't I know it. Oh, I want to go back there. <sighs> crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble and broke when it crashed in Dark Bramble. Okay, okay. Uh, old Settlement or Escape Pod 1. There's still more to explore. Is it Escape Pod 1? Really? What have I not seen there? What you call an eye-shaped signal they encountered, called it the eye of the universe, and abandoned the settlement because of stability. One of the three escape pods landed somewhere in the Hourglass Twins. A mural encountering a signal. Mural of the Dark Bramble. Mural of the three escape pods evacuating. One of the three escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Okay, that's exactly what I was theorizing. That's good. I've got confirmation of that. Is there anything else that has got an update that I have not read? Doesn't seem to be. I really like the way that the information is like presented to you here. I think that's very cool. I think everything in this game is very cool so far. It's it's uh, stellar. <laughs> okay, there's the watery planet. Now, where in the piss is... There it is. I don't know why I find this one so hard to track. I always see every other planet before I see this planet. Oh, hang on. That's the that's the friggin' moon. That's the that's the moon that's not usually there. Well, we've got to fucking land on it. Except that I'm shit at driving. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thrusters full speed ahead. What? The moon just transported me somewhere else? It's not something you can actually land on? Hmm. There's home. 
I can't friggin' see the place again. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Is that all that is? It's just a weird teleporty thing, that moon? Okay, so... We've been that side, so we need to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm... Completely fucked it. Ship hull breach detected. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Okay, I can't even... Oh, right. Talk about a hull breach. Yeah, the whole thing's just done. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I can... I, like, the ship's completely broken, so I'm fully... Screwed, I think. Can I just reset the cycle myself? No. I don't know how to get out of this situation. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, like... I... I don't think it's really... Am I gaining any speed, really? Doesn't it says the little thing at the bottom says I am speeding towards this place, but it doesn't really look like it's getting any better, bigger. Maybe a little, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I get here, I'm going to slam into the ground with such force I'm going to die anyway, which is a real bummer because I'm right where I want to be. I'm pretty sure. No, no, oh, I can't even. I can't even slow down enough to. Hang on, I've been caught by the gravity. Ah, oh, yes! Success! Great success. Okay, my ship is completely dead. And I have 50% fuel remaining. And you can only refuel yourself... Well, actually, no, you can use those canisters. But the main place you can refuel yourself is your ship. Which... I ain't... I ain't got. <laughs> this looks like another ship. Can I go inside it? No, can't steal... Mr. Steal your ship! Right, this is the opposite pole. Oh, hello. Hang on, let's just have a look around the outside first, shall we? It's Mr. Steal Your Ship. Okay, you know what? There's probably nothing to see here. Let's just hurry up and get inside. Let's not waste the time we have. Recording. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. <laughs> a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north of the ruins to on the equator, to try and find a way down. Hmm. Okay. North of the ruins on the equator. But it's kind of impossible to tell, like... The ruins on the equator. Unsure. <laughs> This is the South Pole. Hmm. Let's just have, go and have a look, see around, see what we can see then, shall we? Because we've got no way of leaving this place. I wonder if there's something right at the top of this. It's going to take all my fuel to discover, but... I need to. <laughs> or maybe it's not. Can I just jump? I can just jump. Is there anything up here? Please? Some writing? Anything? No. I've just mugged myself off. Dramatically. Good. <laughs> Good! Nailed it. What is over here? Ow. 
That's death. That was such a terrible life. Oh my goodness. That was a real shocker. I slam into the planet so hard that it destroys my ship while simultaneously bouncing it out into space. I then make it to the planet on my own and immediately slam myself so hard into a wall that I cease to exist. On the plus side though, we did go straight through the Phantom Moon. Well, there we go. That is, uh, <laughs> that is where we'll leave it, unfortunately, on that mega failure by me. Next time, we will head back to the dome and we will try and find the actual way inside. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. And I will see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. See you then.